Hey guys, welcome back to Sparks and Recreation. This is Make It or Break It, episode 5. Uh, in our previous episodes, we've got a Volkswagen Beetle from LA, a 79 pickup out of Kansas City, a 69 Sandbar out of Rhode Island, and a Plymouth Valiant out of Central Pennsylvania. If you're interested in watching us show up, get those run and drive at home in any of those videos, check out our previous uh, playlists showing those. Today, we are heading about three and a half hours away to western New York in the middle of winter. It is 29 degrees outside with snow and possible freezing rain later today. Pick up a vehicle that I purchased about a month ago based on three pictures. The guy says it kind of runs. Uh, the guy that he bought it from drove it to him five miles away so he knows that it does run. So we're going to see if we can drive it three and a half hours in the middle of winter. Uh, hopefully we show up and get it running. And thank you for tuning in. If this is interesting at all, make sure you stay for the full video and watch us probably fail miserably. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to Sparks and Recreation, and Merry Christmas! If you're watching this, it's probably either Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, or the day after Christmas, depending on when we get this video put out. Uh, this is our newest edition for the Make It or Break It Episode 5. If you don't know what this is, it is a 1984 Dodge D150 Custom. We are going to check it over, see if it starts, and attempt to drive it home from Western New York here with a couple of cool stops on the way. Uh, first step is we're gonna pop the hood and see what we got to work with here. On the bright side, it came with a set of smokes, the highest quality purple paint, some Voodoo Ranger, can't start in fluid. And I do not think this truck was originally four speed. <laughs> Let's pop the hood here. We have a 318, some headers, some Edelbrock, you know, valve covers. Looks like a four barrel of some sort. Oh, let's see what. See what we got. A Carter. Carter, Carter four barrel. Nice. It has an MSD ignition on it. Newer distributor. The guy said he drove it here from five miles away, so he knows it's reliable. <laughs> so we'll see what reliable really means. It looks like it has auto choke. What I'm most excited about is it's got these small block headers on it. Look underneath and see what we got for rust and what the exhaust system is looking like. Then we'll check some fluids. Once we check the fluids, we'll give her a style. My dad hold it and we'll give it a start here and see what she sounds like. Well, this seems to be in really good shape. These tires and wheels and tires are horrendous. Very ugly. I think I'm going to paint them all black just to get it a little bit better look. It's actually not that rusty. <laughs> this is some crazy exhaust system they got on here. It needs an X pipe or something. It says it was inspected at some point this year here in New York. Alright, that's got a rag there. We gotta see if the wipers and heat work because on the way here it snowed all the way until about five minutes from here. So, what do we got for oil? So on the stick. Well, that's good. I forgot it's the neutrals rolling away on me. <laughs> Well, hey, we're, we're good. 
Well, there's... there's see the ad sign there, so... Uh... All right, we're going to have to... Well, she's going to need some oil before we rip on her too hard here. He did say that there's a lot of oil on the motor, but he doesn't think it's leaking. <laughs> no, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. You were a fan here. And... Yeah, <laughs> Bone dry on coolant. All righty. Maybe we should find a Walmart instead of a gas station. This <laughs> list is becoming expensive already. Yeah. Oh, power steering fluids up. This uses so this whole setup is very similar to my old Dodge Dart. Have the same power steering reservoir. That will last you a while, even if it's leaking. All the belts are newer. Yeah. And there's good. probably radiator. Then there's probably fluid in this. It's just it's a huge radiator. So if you lose some, it looks really bad. There's wiper fluid, not that that even, who cares about any of it? Alright, All right, the overflow, overflow. is empty. Alright, well, I guess I'll have uh, my dad record her here real quick and we'll try firing her up. Alright, Justin's going to try to fire it up here. cold out today so it's cold blooded so I might need to run a little bit to get idling. Can't tell if it's canned or just runs like shit. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's because it's super canned. <laughs> uh, there you go. Mm -hmm. uh, very low idle here. Yeah. It's idling, that's good. It is idling. As ugly as it is, it sounds all right. Yeah. I think it's I think it's running on all cylinders. Uh, maybe not. It's really loud. All right. Well. Take it down to the gas station, put some gas in it, get some fluids, put a plate on it. Well, we found a jug with like maybe a half quart in the bed, so we're gonna throw that in. Some vice grips, some gloves, and an air hose, which I actually need one of those air hoses, so that's kind of convenient. Throw some gas in her. Uh, I'm gonna go in the store and see what they have for coolant and oil. I'll be right back. All right. All right. So 40 bucks in gas to start. So who knows if the gauge works? Some oil and coolant. We'll be on the road here. We're gonna try to take back roads for the first part of this and then we'll take the highway later after we know it runs okay. How much was on the dip stick anymore? It was just below the ad level. <laughs> just below ad? All right, so with that quart, we should be good. The stance on this thing though. <laughs> Hopefully we don't hit too much snow because the tires are, it has like car tires on the front and they're way smaller in the rear. It has some tread. Back in there. Special stuff dangling. Doesn't look too important. Alrighty. There we go. There we go. Alright, we just pulled out of the gas station. We're gonna take some back roads. Uh, we're up the third gear, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> so far it's a beast. Yeah. It spun the tires a little bit when we left because they're bald, so that's cool. Uh, we'll uh, catch up with you if uh, anything goes wrong from here on out. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. So, we've been driving for a little while here, and we have decent oil pressure not the greatest I've ever seen but pretty good we got no overheating the heater seems to actually be working so we get warm in here windshield wipers they do work kind of work and uh, we're on the other side of Rochester coming towards uh, back towards Syracuse area there's a wildlife refuge we're gonna come through here check everything off and uh, Make sure we're not leaking anything too bad now that it's up to temperature and running good. Uh, and, uh, oh, maybe not. It looks like it's blocked off. <laughs> well, we're going to hang out at the visitor center for a second. So 
So normally this is like a cool preserve where there's eagles and all sorts of stuff. Like you can go out and kind of look out over, uh, it's like a swamp area and they have all these different spots where there's nests set up. So you can see eagles. We were gonna get a cool photo op because there's a huge eagle on the side of the road, but it's closed. So far, there's definitely. I definitely have some kind of small leak, but it's not dripping terribly. Well, I guess we'll just keep going. Our next stop is we plan out, as long as everything keeps going somewhat smooth, we keep oil pressure. It's getting kind of low, which is a little concerning. Uh, as long as everything's running good, we're going to get uh, dinner in Auburn, New York. So we're going to stay on these little back roads for a while and uh, get some driving in. I think it's a goldfish. All right, we have some new adventurers here with us. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of room because I have to be able to shift that. Sorry, dude. Yeah, it's a single cab. It's good. It's good. I got you got this. room? Papa says that doesn't go out very far. Papa <coughs> would be correct. Well, hopefully it works enough. The you heat. have a lap belt. I do? Yep, there should be a lap belt. Found you got to put it on it's, so if I crash us. Like All right. All right, we successfully made it to Auburn, New York. We are gonna eat at a place about a block away because we couldn't find parking with two spots. And uh, we'll show you that restaurant here in a minute. It's pretty cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah, well, this is what it is. Where are we eating? You have no idea, do you? It starts with nuts. <laughs> it's called like Swabies or something. I don't know, online it seemed pretty cool. Yeah. All right, this is the place, Swabies. Maggie's gonna go potty. Alright, let's see what we got here. Please use other door. Are they not open? Yeah, they are. Oh, okay. Alright. Alright. This was some kind of like theater and had a bar, or uh, they had a jail cell in it at one point. Hello. Hello. Pretty good. All right. Is there a booth over there? Can we sit in the booth over here? Yeah, of course. All right. Cool. There's a Sasquatch back there. Look at this old bar. It's super cool. Use the potty in a minute. It's pretty cool in here. Yeah, it is cool. Look up. That's weird. Oh, that's so That's weird. I definitely would not recommend eating it. Yeah. She said fat ass mozzarella sticks. Pretty good size menu. Some homemade tamales and some elephant. Grandma tried to go to the reason we went to This place is so weird inside. You know it's good when there's a Sasquatch to greet you at the door. Big bowls of popcorn. And it's actually really good too. I like the Santa. And we're gonna try to find the bathrooms in here. This is a really cool like old bar. Hello. Dad, we should like play a game with darts. Like play a game with darts. Old jail. Oh, Marilyn oh it's Marilyn Monroe, Monroe in here. Kangaroo. Hey, look at her. Really, it's the only ones in here, but it's pretty cool. This place is a cool little hidden gem here. What movie are you watching? Despicable Me. Despicable Me? I don't think Despicable Me was out when these were in use. Yeah, don't sit in that seat. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. Door That's leads me. to nowhere. Oh wow, this is old school. I thought it was about a racetrack. <laughs> it's at the racetrack trough. Alright, well. Yeah, I hear you. Yep. Yeah, bird cage up above you. You might want to, you're gonna have to blur it. <laughs> <laughs> Guy's out here, dude. He's packing up. This place is so cool. Alright, we 
We found some dragon game. It, when you first start the game, it asks you if you're at least born before 2002. A little strange. Probably because you need money. Alright, so see this. I think you gotta shoot. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah. Look, you can. Do I have to time it? I guess you have to time it to hit the color of the. I don't even know what's happening. Alright, try shooting it. Wait, all the dragons are gone, dude. Oh, I think you so ran out of time. Uh uh. Never. Oh, 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 here we go. More dragons. Try shooting. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh you hit something. Your session's ending already. This is a weird game. game. <laughs> yeah, who's this game one? Well, we got so excited when the appetizers started to come that we forgot to get video, but this is the garlic cheese bread that's people. like... It's really, really stringy. Stringy, really thick bread. It's super good. Boss, boss. Potato skins mm -hmm. and taco soup, which I, I think I like this the most of the things. The taco. So... My opinion is, I think that the uh -oh. taco soup is my favorite thing of these three. Mm -mm -mm. And then cheese like bread, then potato bread. skins. This stuff is bossy. You love the cheesy bread? It's, it's bossy. Maggie, you didn't really like the soup that much, did you? No, but I don't really like super chilies on my chili. That's true. Alright, we have an order of fish tacos. A half pound bacon burger that looks handmade. A buffalo chicken salad. I forgot I had tomatoes. Uh, well, I didn't say it on the menu. Sorry, kiddo. And, damn, that is big. Uh, fish sandwich meal. Hey, I'm gonna have to take some home. Yeah, I have to take some home. Good. Well, I see a meal the Smash is never gonna eat all of. Shut up! <laughs> that thing's huge. Shut He's up. He's not even gonna make a dent. It looks wicked good, though. <laughs> that shell, though. It's like you, puffed out. You there. can take some of your I might have a bite in a little bit. Alright, we are finishing up our meal here. We've conquered it pretty good, except for, you know. Shut up! <laughs> I'm just kidding. His, came out, like, His really just cool. came out. I and did not make it done at mine. It's pretty good. So, we're gonna be on the road back to Cicero Clay area here in a little bit to do a little okay, last minute animals. shopping. Here, yep, we have to go to the pet store. We're gonna get our uh, review of this place on the way out. Alright, so. <laughs> Well, that last, I don't know if you saw that blooper, <laughs> but I dropped our food about two seconds after we left the place. You clumsy, clumsy man. So anyways, that was Suave's. What do you think of it, bud? <laughs> what, you got it on video? No, I got your picture. Like an idiot. I, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Nice. What did you think, Maggie? Oh, I rated it 8 out of 5. because there's 8 out of 5? So I mean, 8 yeah. out of 10. <laughs> 8.5 really out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. No, the restaurant had a cool theme and there wasn't anything I didn't like. Nice. What do you think? I thought it was really good. My taco soup was yummy. My fish was good. But potato skins were alright. They weren't my favorite. Yeah, they're Everything like... Everything else was pretty good though. So I gave it 7.5 each. 7.5? Almost 8. What do you think, Papa? I'd do seven and a half too. Like I said, everything was good. It just I wish my fish tacos had a little more fish on them. Put a little They're more fish good. taco. Get a little higher rating, Slobbies. I would give it a. I'm with Alice. Seven and a half or eight. Everything. Yeah, this is a cool theater. Um, everything I had was very good. Uh, I don't really have any real complaints. They must. Where is it? They ate a Swabies too. <laughs> Uh, but they made it further. No real complaints. Uh, I think the burger could have had a little more seasoning, and uh, the potato skins were eh. Everything else is very good, so I would definitely drive out of my way if I'm within an hour or two of here to check it out because the atmosphere is really, really cool. So back on the road. All right. <laughs> Almost back to the trip. <laughs> kind of a little bit. All right, so we are back in the truck. Yeah. We're getting it done here. The clutch is really heavy here in the city, but we only got about 45 minutes, what, 47 minutes till our next stop? Yeah, and I we, get to see animals. We get to see animals. And smell good things. And smell good things at Bath and Body Works. Very important on the night, day before the night before Christmas. Uh, yeah, and then we get and home and I got Alice a lot of and Maggie behind us. I'm gonna make dr Maggie drive this thing when we get home. <laughs>
first classic car I've ever owned that had the windshield wiper fluid actually comes out. So the 1 through 350 truck and Ram Charger owner's brochure. And inside there's notes. You even have some of the original maintenance back on this. I mean, it had 59,000 miles back in 1988, so I'm pretty sure <laughs> the 62 it has in 2023 has got to be a couple hundred. We made it. Papa did a good job. Send her through the gears. <laughs> Papa. What a unit. All right, we dropped Papa off at his house in Minato. We have really, really dim headlights going. <laughs> and uh, we're working our way back towards the house, which is about 20 minutes away. Make cookies. Make cookies, because it is Christmas Eve tomorrow. We haven't even made cookies. We've not made all of our cookies yet. As of right now, we still have good oil pressure. It's not overheating. And we've gone through about a half tank of gas. So, Woo. a lot of 55 mile an hour driving got us pretty good gas mileage, actually. Yeah. All right, we'll see you at the house. See you at the house, people. Thank you for riding with me. You're welcome. Bye. All right, we'll see you guys in the next Bye. one.